everyone, the Starry Ari here to give you guys a pick a card reading for the week. Uh, so I do want to remind everyone, if you guys like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and ring uh, the notification bell so that you can be notified of my latest uploads. Also, I would like to um, tell everyone that I still have my Virgo season sale going on, which is a private 30-minute reading with me uh, for only $44. The actual value of this is $60. Uh, so go ahead and send me a message via email, or you could actually go ahead and go to my website, www starryari333.com to book. Another thing I want to remind everyone is that we still have uh, slots available for the Divine Feminine Healing and Empowerment Retreat in California. So if you guys are interested in that or need further information on that, uh, please email me at starryari333 at gmail.com. Uh, the investment price is $800 for that, and we do accept uh, payment plan options for anyone who is wanting to attend. Um, this is going to be November 1st to the 4th, okay, for that weekend. And it's, and it's going to be in Joshua Tree, California, okay, if you guys are wondering. Uh, again, send me an email uh, to sign up or to ask more questions about this. Also, I will be starting my newest group of shamanic initiates uh, training course on Facebook. It's going to be a secret group on Facebook. The only people who have access to this will be the uh, initiates. And we're going to begin October 14th, and this runs for a 10-month period. At the end of the 10-month period, we have an in-person initiation. Uh, so it's going to be a retreat as well. It's going to be for a weekend. And so if you guys want to sign up or need further information on this, please feel free to email me at starryari. 333 at gmail.com. The it's going to be a monthly fee of forty four dollars, and the ceremony retreat initiation it's going to be six hundred dollars. Therefore, uh, this is going to provide you with your ceremonial clothing, uh, ceremonial tools, uh, as well as lodging and food for that weekend, and to include um, any type of. Uh, things that we're going to be creating because we will be using um, crystal tools to create our own crystal um, healing wands as well as uh, rattles. Okay, so we're going to have those workshops as well for the retreat. Um, so and you're going to be given, of course, medicines <laughs> to use for your practice. Anyway, if you guys are interested, uh, it starts October 14th. Uh, please shoot me an email. Uh, and of course, um, let me know what your intentions are. And if you truly are desiring to change or revolutionize your spiritual business with incorporating a shamanic practice, or if you just want to uh, learn about the shamanic way, and then of course, honing in your gifts, because that's what we do. I teach you how to connect to your gifts, connect to your guides, uh, and trust your intuition, and of course, help you empower yourself to build your own personal spiritual business, okay? So anyway, you guys, hit me up for that. Let me know on my email, starry 333 at gmail.com, okay? So we're going to go ahead and begin. So from left to right, you have pile number one, Pile number two, number three, and number four. So we're going to go ahead and start. All right, here we go. Pile number one right here. All right, so this is the first card. Here's the second. Third. Fourth. And... Fifth and sixth. 
Okay, so the first card is the power of sound. So this is uh, something that you are going to be implementing into your spiritual practice. Um, so with sound therapy, there are many things that you can choose from. You can use instruments like drumming, rattles, um, crystal bowls, you know, or even the metal singing bowls, okay? Um, sound therapy itself is used to change the vibration uh, within a person's energy field as well as going deep into cellular restructuring, changing the vibration at that cellular level as well. It, it really does depend on your intention, on the person's allotment of this change, okay? Um, a lot of people who do sound therapy, they incorporate it with uh, tones like Hertz, you know, music like binaural beats. Uh, also, uh, they incorporate their voices, okay? So if you are very keen at singing or wanting to uh, create your own music, you know, wanting to just assist the world through your or musical talents, then you're definitely, definitely, definitely connecting to this type of modality, okay? So the next one is spiritual technology. And you see these instruments on the top of uh, the little being's head, right? So that's what you're going to do is you are creating your own method of spiritual healing, okay? Through your words, through your creativeness through mixtures of sounds of vibrations you know even the hurts you know and so this is definitely a unique thing for you and no one is able to replicate this but you because you have that knowing ingrained in your soul as to how you're going to create this type of healing this type of sound therapy for your clients okay so that's that. The next one is creative communication. So the, again, this has a lot to do with singing, with poetry, with writing, you know, things like that. I feel that people who resonate with this type of therapy are very keen in expressing themselves through words and they're very good at it. Where you might have a blog right now or maybe you have a video, vlog, you know, vlog um, where you communicate and express yourself uh, through that way also you're able to reach uh, more people through this through this method because you're able to just uh, channel information whatever you get whatever you receive that's unique to each person that you in uh, you know interact with okay so this is awesome uh, it's very much a part of the sound therapy that you're gonna be creating your own unique method to assisting people with healing another thing with creative communication communication is assisting people with uh, any type of limiting belief system that they may have meaning that using affirmations using words that are positive catching those negative thoughts and rewiring them into positive thoughts you know that's what this is all about so it's about speaking it into reality it's about speaking words that are positive that are healing instead of speaking words that are negative that are you know destructive okay so that's what you're going to be teaching as well the next one is balance so that's what you're seeking with this you're seeking to balance the energies within people as well as yourself because whenever we go on the path and we start to assist other people in so many ways we learn from them as well we learn a lot of things about ourselves our wants our needs and and dislikes you know as well as uh, uh, anything else that's hidden in you know in our subconscious minds through assistance of others because you know everything that we channel can be applied to us everything that we assist other people uh, with can be applied to us because that is why we are vibrating and we are matching each other's vibration and we are attracting each other and we are interacting okay so that is very important uh, that is the whole point of this healing modality is to assist with balancing these energies through 
frequency uh you know rising and or you know tweaking the frequency that matches your client and yourself okay so that is what the ultimate goal is all right and so where where did you learn this so it is a past life in the Atlantean era. This um, healing modality comes from there. Of course, it comes from uh, galactic regions as well. But in the Atlantean, Atlantean era, it was more, um, it was predominantly used, okay? Uh, think about it in this sense where crystal healing, okay? Crystals have a frequency, a certain frequency that matches, uh, you know, the sound vibration, okay? Um, we can listen to crystals uh, through, like, for example, the crystal singing bowl, right? They are tuned to a certain frequency and vibration. Uh, therefore, they are assisting us in healing that and implementing and restructuring any uh, lower frequencies and making them into higher frequencies, okay? So this is where this sound therapy is coming from. So what you need to do is connect to your lifetime in Atlantis, okay? And then bring that knowledge back into yourself, okay? So that's the ultimate goal for this reading is for you to connect and for you to remember and for you to start working on it, all right? So who can you talk to regarding this? Who can you connect with? So the angel of music and sound and vibration and frequency and communication, meaning prayers from ourselves to God, the, the one that connects us to that, is Archangel Sandophon. So it's very important to call him in when you want some insight, when you want to, you know, feel or those creative pulses uh, moving through your vein, you know, when you need to harmonize yourself as well as assist in bringing that harmony into this reality for people that you're working with, okay? So this is who you connect with is Archangel Sandifon, all right? So that's all I have for you guys. All right, we got number two right here. So this is the first card. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. All right, so here we go. So you who have chosen this are very much drawn to shamanism, okay, in, in its different forms. It could be just uh, maybe from one certain culture that you're drawn to, uh, or it could be from multiple ones. It does. It really does depend on your soul and what it is uh, being uh, drawn to, of course, okay? So in shamanism, there is a plethora of techniques, uh, a different ways of doing things, okay? But the ultimate goal is to assist people in empowerment and learning that they are their own healers, all right? So that's the ultimate goal, at least for my uh, version of shamanism, which is Toltec shamanism. It's a universal um, truth, universal light, uh, universal healing modality, okay? So next is initiation and ceremony. So in the core of shamanism, there is tradition. There are initiations and there are ceremonies that we have to go through in order for us to progress in our shamanic journey, as well as to assist others in their progression through their self-healing, okay? And uh, remembering that, you know, through these initiations, through these ceremonies, we are then connected to the ancestors and the old ways, okay? Bringing in the old ways of, of living here on the mother that we have forgotten now in the modern days. And that means, you know, connecting with the spirit realm, connecting with with the planet herself, you know, and and with the elemental kingdom, and that's what this these traditions hold within is those key factors of of uh, connection that you, we have to understand that we are not separate from these these things. Okay, we're all one. All right. The next one is a sharing of cultural ideas, and this is one thing that I 
definitely love about shamanism is the variety that you find in different cultures. Um, we practice uh, similarities, but there's also different things. Okay, so everyone holds a piece of the universal shamanic puzzle. <laughs> That's how I like to t think about it. And so when we share, uh, when shamans come together and we share our insights, we share our version of shamanism, then we are sharing cultural ideas and we see the similarities in when we share as well as the differences. But we also learn from one another. And, you know, some techniques might be really well, you know, applied than others. So it's very important for this to happen because we're not you know the masters of everything you know we we definitely are both teachers and students okay so that is what the path teaches as well another one is being the mentor so that's the ultimate goal of shamanism is to teach you know is to be the mentors for other people here on earth to help them remember their truth to help them remember their connection to spirit okay and that everyone has this innate connection everyone has it because it is given to us by the creator all right and whatever version of that looks like whatever filter they use to connect to spirit is unique to themselves and is unique to their soul and so by us teaching this uh to trust people's you know own guidance and intuitions and to empower them they then become the mentors themselves for other souls and it has a ripple effect you know where we become both the teacher and the student and we teach others to do the same to be open to learning to be open to uh, uh, expressing themselves as well as sharing knowledge. Okay. So next is seeing the one. So the ultimate goal of shamanism is for us to connect to spirit, to see spirit in our lives incarnated in within us, to know that spirit is within us and with other people, with our brothers and sisters, and understand that everyone is intertwined and everyone has a soul connection and the heart space, you know, as well as with our animal brothers, you know, and sisters, as well as with with our mother, Tonansi, all right? So that's what the ultimate goal is, is seeing this truth, seeing our connections and seeing that we are all one and we are all spirit within, all right? And then, of course, one of the good perks about being a shaman is uh, working with Archangel Azrael, okay? Archangel Azrael, he is the gatekeeper. He is the keeper of of a lot of uh, transitioning energies and also a guide, okay? So in shamanic practice, we tend to connect to the spirit realm to do different things. You know, it really does depend on our on who we work with. Uh, sometimes, you know, our clients ask us to connect to a past over loved one and we call in Archangel Azrael and he's able to assist us with this. Or sometimes we have to go to the spirit realm, you know, and access uh, someone's Akashic or or even um, collect soul fragments of, of, you know, past lives and things like that and so we connect with a conscious stream that is connected to uh, the person that we're working with and then we are able to you know relay this information to them so that they can bring back those soul shards and and integrate them into themselves and and move on you know, as well as, you know, insights about past over loved ones. So they can know that they still exist in the spirit realm. Just because they don't exist here physically does not mean that they no longer exist. It is definitely, they are there consciously, okay? So that is what um, Archangel Azrael will assist you with if you are on the shamanic path to connect with the spirit realm and to assist other people in the same way, okay? So that is all I have for you guys for pile number two. Now we have pile number three. And here is the first card. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. And sixth. 
All right, so the, if you pick this pile, you're definitely connected to alchemy, okay? The alchemist, all right? Um, this is something that is within you. You are that one that brings uh, the bridge or actually bridges the energies between science and spirit, okay? So think about the alchemist of long ago where they were trying to figure out how to create uh, basic metals and alchemize them into transforming them into gold, right? That's what you do, but with energy. <laughs> um, and so what you do is you transmute basic energy or lower energy to higher frequencies, okay? And the way that you do this is through whatever means you have at your disposal or maybe through spell work, okay? So we're gonna move on to fusion magic. Uh, so this is what you work with, okay? You work with magic in the way that you interpret it, okay? It could be spell work, like writing down certain keywords to manifest. It can be um, using herbs or using um, candle magic or even calling in your, your you know, spirit guides to assist you with magic uh, work. It could be that you pray for people, you know, and... Uh, and you set intentions so that they can access healing for themselves or even manifest, you know, love into their reality, things like that. So you definitely assist with that and you teach people how to do this as well. So that is awesome. The next one is way showing. So that is what you are ultimately doing is you're showing people how to uh, be self-empowered. You know, you're showing people, hey, you know, this is, you know, a good practice. Um, it is a good practice to connect to your intuition. It's a good practice to connect to your own power. It is a good practice to do your own spell work, you know, or, or do your own uh, alchemy, <laughs> as so many like to talk about. Because when you balance both um, spirit and science, that is how uh, you create, okay? Uh, it's kind of like looking at the left and right side of the brain. Sometimes we are so engulfed on the left brain uh, area that we forget the right side, which is the creative side, which is where we connect to manifestation, which 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 is the bridge between this material world and the spirit world. So you are teaching people how to do that, remembering you know their innate uh, intuition and their ancient practices and things like that from like past lives. All right. So the next one is new paradigm. So the ultimate thing about uh, helping people with this is to help them shift from the old paradigm to the new. The old paradigm is all about fear. It is all about restriction. It is all about remaining in the lower vibrational body, you know, like the mental, um, not the mental, I'm sorry, the material body where everything is focused on material gains. So the new paradigm is about shifting, it's about connecting and bridging that uh, and balancing both the material and spirit. It is also about freedom, okay? It's freedom of expression and freedom to connect how you wish to connect to creation, okay? And um, the new paradigm is not limiting, okay? It is limitless, it is the innate energy that we are. We are limitless. We are infinite. And that's what you are here to teach. Okay. The next one is Lemurian era. So this is where it's coming from. Everything that you are feeling and knowing without even knowing is coming from your life as a Lemurian. All right. Um, being a priestess or a priest in the Lemurian era, you learned how to hone in uh, magical, you know, alchemy or even working with sacred geometry with with different sigils, spell work, things like that, uh, symbols, you know, things like that. So that's where it's coming from. So for you to access this or to gain more knowledge, you have to go back to this lifetime and connect there. All right. So that's that. So next one is who to work with. 
you could definitely work with Metatron as he is the keeper of this knowledge. He is the one that brings you information about sacred geometry and how to connect in that sense. He is the bridger of spirit and science. He is the one that we all go to when we're trying to rationalize or understand things that are not really in our I guess you could say in our mind rational. <laughs> so Metatron is your archangel to work with for this so that he can teach you the secrets of um, the universe pretty much. Okay. All right. So that's all that I got for you guys. And finally, we have pile number four. So here we go. This was the first card. Second. Third fourth, fifth, and sixth. All right, so the first card is the Cosmic Midwifery. So a lot of people who chose this pile are very inclined in assisting other people. They're, they're definitely empaths, <laughs> but they love to, um, you know, learn more about like the medical profession or maybe they are in the medical profession. So the Cosmic Midwifery is all about creation or bringing in creative energy into this reality, as well as assisting other people uh, with, you know, moving from, I would say death to rebirth because think about it in this sense when you're in the medical profession you're there to assist people uh feel you know get better and feel better and move on with their lives and also uh, midwifery is a part of the medical profession where you assist people in giving birth to or creating life you know giving birth to those beautiful little children they're coming now or before then <laughs> to this reality so that they can improve the energy here right so that is what you have chosen um next one is the feminine principle so this is all about balancing the feminine within everyone it's not just for women this is all about making sure that we help other people and assist them with this um, usually those who are in the medical profession you know just like nurses it could be a man or a woman they have this energy within them they know uh, you know the feminine principle of compassion of caring for others of being selfless of of just assisting without questioning okay of assisting people in healing so with you pick this you definitely have a lot of feminine energy um, within you next one is the holographic healing so when we have holographic healing is that we know exactly what is wrong with people like we feel it in ourselves so that's what uh medical intuitives do you know they feel um and they get information about like okay this is a part of the body that i'm feeling on in my body and this is how it looks in their body okay this is what needs to be healed and so a lot of people in the medical profession have that they have like this instinct about what's really going on in in the person's body and how to help them heal that okay and so that's that's what holographic healing is. It's like a picture of, of information. It's like your own little personal x-ray machine inside your mind and you just know exactly what to do, okay, or how to assist this person to get better. Um, I'm personally a medical intuitive and, and I learned this uh, this type of stuff before I became a shaman and and I just knew like I just knew when people were sick I just knew where their aches were and and how to help them with that all right so that's that and then the ultimate thing for this is assisting community you know and getting everyone together and so that everyone can live in harmony because who wants to live broken you know who wants to be sick and, and be isolated, you know? And so that's what the goal of this type of healing is, is that you are here to help people come together uh, in harmony and empower them to, to heal themselves, you know, of course, more than anything, but also to see the bigger picture that we all, us working together, we can create a better world, okay? And that's what 
people who chose this uh, path usually have that is that that selfishness of of working with a team and and you know because especially medical professionals they work with a team every day and so they are able to assist their community through teamwork through through actually coexisting okay and and being at peace with what they do with other people okay now where is this coming from? The pulse of life, the galactic core. In the galactic core energy, we are, un we understand the oneness of creation. We understand uh, how the universe works. We also understand um, polarity and how we create that here. And we, all, through that understanding, we know that we can create, uh, you know, the life that we desire through through manifesting that into our reality. So people who chose this path know innately in the core of their being that people can heal people can heal through uh, assistance through empowerment through through knowing what the issue is okay so that's what the galactic core energy brings us is that knowing without even understanding pretty much of how you know but you just know what to tell people to empower them to motivate them to get better okay and ultimately it's because you want to make sure that they um get better and they assist other people like a little ripple effect okay because ultimately we're all one if one is sick then you know the i guess you could say the we're all not at our most highest vibration if our community if one of our community members is not at their most highest vibration okay so that is what the galactic core is all about is knowing the oneness and how everyone working together can revolutionize and transform the earth for the better all right so the best archangel to work with is archangel Raphael. he is the healer angel and he is the uh patron of healers or medical professionals okay so working with archangel uh, Raphael will assist you in connecting more with whatever it is that you want to highlight about your knowing especially uh you being a medical professional or, or, or intrigued with med med medicine knowing what path to take knowing how to help people get better recover from illnesses things like that even mental illnesses so it's like psychology students things like that okay counselors you know things like that even teachers are in this group because they they're able to assist students in progressing in their knowledge and so that they can become you know better uh assistance for society in whatever degree they they go after okay so this is archangel Raphael's goal is to teach you guys how to empower yourselves and then of course empowering others all right so that's what i have for you guys Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye-bye.